Hey there, it's Pete over at The Samplist and today we're doing a first play of Mini Monster 2 from GeForce Software. G4 Software are renowned for their amazing recreations of vintage synths, and Mini Monster 2 is no exception. The original Mini Monster, which I do use a lot, is based upon a Mini Moog Model D, and G4 Software have taken that instrument and just built on it. So there are now 300 more presets, so there's a total of 800, and a fully scalable UI. There's lots of other changes, so I really recommend popping over to the G4 Software website to see exactly what is going on. It's currently on sale for £49.99p, excluding VAT, and that is an intro price. When the intro is off, it's going to be 99 99 excluding VAT. Now, this is a first play, but I have used the original Mini Monster a lot, and all I'm going to do is just jump in and see what sounds we have going on. So let's check it out. I've loaded up the Mini Monster 2 plugin, and as you can see, there are lots of knobs and dials and sliders and switches. But this is a first play video, so we're going to check out what it sounds like out of the box. And the first instrument, or sorry, the first preset is called Embrace the Swarm. <laughs> It's so much fun. That is just the first preset. Now, I'm not gonna get bogged down with the controls too much, but at the moment you can see it's in mono mode. So if I try and play a chord, you don't get a chord. If you do wanna change that, just go to poly. And of course you can have it working as a polyphonic synth. Now, the browser has changed. So you can see on the left-hand uh, side, the collections, you've got Classic, Mini Monster 1, Mini Monster 2, some Rick Wakeman presets, um, and then you can make your own users and save them. So the Rick ones, uh, they're gonna be amazing. Um, Mini Monster 1 is obviously the original. So if I just go for some keys, So again, mono, and this is an active pulse. Yeah. So you've got that instant um, Model D sound going on. Let's just have a, another quick look. We'll do another one, um, Christmas piano. Just sounds uh, lovely. And let's just go for uh, just a few pads. Um, dream state. Sounds fantastic, but the, the idea of just showing that is the preset browser has changed. So we're gonna focus on the Mini Monster 2 uh, patches. So let's just get a bass on the go. And of course you've got different types and timbres, so you can play around um, 
or sorry, uh, find really what you're looking for. But we've got Daywalker. And of course, the mod wheel does have different effects. The first preset, I don't use a mod wheel at all. However, you can hear that sort of almost like a little bit of saturation going on there. Um, let's just go for a, another one hidden in plain sight. <laughs> Sounds uh, great. Uh, let's go um, amp lead. As soon as I played that E. That sounds like the start of a very uh, famous White Snake song. Um, Interstellar bass. Yep. And let's do one more through the dirt. Very, very cool. And what I was going to say, um, when I use GeForce software synths, um, they pop up in lots of different types of productions. So, yeah, um, say my Spaghetti Western stuff, I use the Mtron Mark II a lot uh, because some of those recordings are very, very vintage and very, very cool, but they're still incredibly cinematic. So we're on the... Um, Keys, so we've got classic poly brass. So yeah, it's a polyphonic instrument. Um, so again, just keep an eye on these boxes down the bottom and you can see if you can play them polyphonic or not. It is Glamour Synth. Yeah, absolutely love that. Um, let's go escapism. Could be anything. I wonder, does the mod world do anything? adds vibrato. That's got a crazy aftertouch. It's 
gone there. Yeah. Um, so escapism. Ah, there's the aftertouch. Europa de Maxi. So cool. Yeah. So the sonic quality is fantastic. Uh, let's go mallet, mallet vibe. Don't know what I'm playing there. Um, brilliant. And it's a good example of that's just appeared out of nowhere. And it's a completely different sound. Uh, New Detroit Calling. Okay, so that's a mono. bit more vibrato on the module. That's great. Um, plug and load. It's just jaunty. There's a the word I'm going to use. Uh, soft as steel. Um, so what I'm sort of hearing is very, very cinematic, some amazing um, evolving synths and synthwave uh, springs to mind with some of these patches. But again, you know, it's just going to be um, wherever you want to fit it, really. But these instruments are incredibly versatile. Lovely. So that is, we've done some basses and keys. Let's do a couple of leads. Um, candy lead. Why not? Brilliant. I love that glide. Did not expect that. Just want to see how low that goes. Uh, if I'm up here. Yeah, that's so cool. Again, it's too much fun. Um, candy lead, let's go through, cut through the mix. Wow. 
So my mic stand got in the way there. Yeah, uh, this is very, very impressive stuff. Yeah. Uh, so Modwill added some vibrato, big echo lead. <laughs> Just gonna stop playing there. I mean, the sounds this instrument is creating is crazy. It's still going on. Uh, Dave, expressive lead. Bonkers. It's got that awesome glide going on again. Um, for the love of you. So much fun. I, I just keep using the word fun. Can't help it, because it is. Yeah. Um, let's do one more. Not lucky again. Also, I've got a lot of luck. Not all of it is good. Fantastic sounds. Um, do one more. Superfly lead. So I've just worked out it remembers the um if I change patch, so my mod will's up there. If I just change something else. I don't think it resets. It's so creative. Let's do some pads. Now, I absolutely love uh, the pads in the original. So we got uh, replicant blades.
And then we've got distant lands. I'm, I'm running out of adjectives to describe how awesome this sounds. It's still going on. That's just stunning. In a dream state. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Monty Eighties Polybrass. Yeah, very eighties. Um, new lucid dreams. And then the last one, uh, we go Tech Royale. And again, it's so much fun just playing through the presets. And it's even more fun when you start tweaking and playing around the sounds. But that is for another time. It's got vibrato. So that's bases, keys, leads, pads. Let's check out some sequences. Gated Super Sweeper. Now this one has legato enabled, so it's just going to go through the gate, as in the, the sweep is going to keep happening. If you put on mono, you then sort of reset that. Whoops. But legato is where it's at. This one poly as well. 
Oops. Yeah, and as you can see, it's just about being creative. Uh, back to basics. Yeah, that should be in everyone's composing repertoire. Uh, rave until the apocalypse. Yeah. I would say I remember the rave days, but I don't because I wasn't really there. Effing bugs. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I mean, it is bonkers. And when you think, on intro, this is £49.99 plus VAT. Um, what you're getting is incredible. Just even if you just want to use presets. Beautiful. Um, and we're going to do one more. Time is on our side. And then we go check out a few textures. Um, force through. So again, this is a mono, um, but it's in legato mode and what I actually do, and this is just through habit, but my left hand, I tend to just hold the note and then just play around on the right hand. Uh, right hand. So when you let go, re-engage what your left hand is doing so that's very very cool so that's four through end of existence And when I keep using the term cinematic, this is why it's so, so many uses for this instrument. It's not just, you know, another vintage synth. Um, there's lots of them out there, and I, I love vintage synths. Um, I only use software ones, don't use hardware ones. And um, many, that's because of the space and the cost. But having an instrument like Mini Monster 2 in the palm of your hand, you know, that is incredible. We can't really afford five and a half grand or whatever for a, uh, a Mini Moog Model D. However, £49.99, you're in. Anyway, uh, talking Mini 1, because I'm talking a lot now. <laughs> I'm actually laughing. <laughs> I 
I don't know why. It's really quite tickled me. What does uh, Talking Mini 2 sound like? I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this instrument. Um, effects. I've, I've not done a first play where um, it's just so diverse in terms of sound. Like, there's so many different sounds going on, but I love that talking mini. <laughs> I don't know why, that little melody just made me laugh. That one. Oops. Oh, okay, I can't lay it back. Anyway, um, then we've got some effects. So there aren't a huge amount of effects. Wow. So a conversation between two computer minds, clearly. Alien Invaders. <laughs> nice. Um, panning burbles. <laughs> Love it. And then we have some hits. So, kicking off. And then, knock on wood. And then sub kick. Lovely. And it's worthy of note that I am using um, Mini Monster 2 at 0 dB in my DAW, and it's not even got close to peaking or red lighting, which is very um, important. Obviously, I would say that I compose around minus 15, um, but it's just really nice in case you forget to bring a fader down that it's not going to red light and blow your speakers. So, yeah, that's the Mini Monster 2. Um, the presets are great and there's so many to go through. I'm just going to click through a couple of Rick Wakeman um, presets. Just the range of timbres you can get. Wow. Um, let's do a couple of basses. Come on then. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that either. Fat bass. Love it. Uh, let's do a couple of leads. Arthur. Glide clarinet. Again, my mic stand was in the way there. Yeah. Again, loads of fun. Journey solo. Okay. I love the, the release. Okay. It just sounded quite 80s, so 
so that's where we went. Um, and then we do one more room solo. Okay, so you can see I'm not quite attaching the legato there, which is why it's sort of pinging. So I play it staccato. Or detach. Yeah, so you get the idea. Uh, again, I'm just messing around. And this, again, just really highlights how creative this instrument is and inspiring. Bit more like house. And uh, did I play any basses? I did, because I didn't expect what come on then was. Um, and of course, you've got all of these Mini Monster 1 presets to play through, and classic. So I just want to check out what the violin sounds like. Lovely. And that is Mini Monster 2. So it's a first play video. I'm just playing some simple musical examples using the Mini Monster 2 synth. As you can see, it's almost been like a range of emotions. I've been surprised. I've had peaceful moments. I've had moments of laughter and giggling. And yeah, it just really sums up Mini Monster 2. There is so much going on in here. There's a range of timbres, sounds, and then of course you can create your own sounds and presets and save them as well. So I, I keep mentioning the price. It is such a bargain for what you're getting. Um, even at 99.99 plus VAT, it's a bargain. There is so much you can do with this instrument and then so many places you can put it. You can put it in, you know, underscore crime, doing ambient music, orchestral, you can double, you know, your majestic horn lines or string parts with this synth. It's brilliant and I'm absolutely blown away. So for a first play, incredibly excited to see what else Mini Monster can do. And I have to admit, um, the Mtron Mark II was probably the first G4 software synth that I used and that was released last year. It quickly became one of my most used instruments and for me it was actually my instrument of the year. Loads of amazing things came out um, last year but it's kind of like a, a sleeper hit for me. Um, I wasn't too sure what it was and I'm most likely going to do a video on that one as well because it's a synth that everyone needs to know about and everyone needs to use and it's one of my secret weapons so maybe I should stop going on about it. But that's the Mtron Mark II, we'll talk about the Mini Monster 2. It is, yeah, um, just so much fun and I can't wait to use this a lot more in various different productions. So head over to the GeForce website see what is new, what is old, what your upgrade path might be and there are some amazing videos on YouTube where it isolates different sections of the Mini Monster 2 synth as well. So it's worth checking those out. That isn't really what this video is about, it's just about hearing it and I'm sure you're going to agree it just sounds brilliant. It's diverse, it's out there um, and it sounds amazing. I'm gonna stop um, but yeah, love it, absolutely love it. I really hope you enjoyed it, checking out this video and I really want to thank G4 Software for sending over a copy of Mini Monster 2 for review. Obviously it doesn't influence my decision um, and I am a G4 Software fan and have been a user for quite a while so yeah, um, but I, I, I'm really, really blown away with this one. Um, please like and subscribe. Our channel is growing, we've got lots of content going, uh, coming out and lots of chord instruments uh, being looked at as we speak. And if you've not done so already, head over to our website, thesamplist.com and of course, make sure you are making some beautiful music. Until next time, take care and speak again soon.